Today we're going to be going over how to use the Users page in Time Doctor. To edit users in Time Doctor, use the navigation at the top of the page. Go to Settings, then select Users. First take notice of the menu options along the top of the page. These options help you narrow your selections, export data, or add users. The first two drop-down menus allow you to change which groups are selected and which access levels are selected. Just beside this, the Export button allows you to export the content of the page, to share it or review it outside of Time Doctor. Continuing to the right, there are two tabs that toggle between active or deleted users. We will cover deleted users in a later portion of this video. If you are a silent or mixed company, there are two more tabs on the right, Computers and Inactive Computers. Computers shows a list of computers with silent users. Inactive Computers is a tab that's used to identify computers where the Time Doctor silent application may have either not been uninstalled or was improperly uninstalled. On the far right hand side, you will see the Add Users button. This allows you to invite new users to your company. If you are a mixed company, you will have the option to choose between adding an interactive or a silent user. Selecting the button opens the Invite page, which is also in your top navigation. Here, you can add a user either by email or by CSV upload. To return to the previous page, you can either select Send Invites or tap User Settings found in the upper right corner of the page. In the next row, returning to the left, there is a search bar. If you would like to quickly find one individual, this is the quickest option. Continuing back to the right again, if you are a silent or mixed company, you will see the button labeled New Silent User Default Settings. This option applies default settings to new silent users only. The settings do not affect the users added on the invite page. If you're going to have many silent users, setting up your defaults will save you a great deal of time. Finally, on the far right, under the Add User button, you will see the Column button. This allows you to select which columns you would like visible on the page. By checking and unchecking boxes, you can remove clutter and focus on what matters to you. Looking over the table section of the page, which is the lower portion of the page, you will see many columns. The first column is a checkbox for selection. You can use this column to select all or some of your employees that you want to make changes to. If you use these checkboxes for selection, you will see a new option appear on the column headers. These drop-down options allow you to assign multiple users the same setting all at once. Next is the Name column. Selecting the Edit button or selecting the name directly will open a pop-up window on the right side of the page. This displays the same information that you will find in the table, but it is expanded for one person at a time. While the pop-up is open, you may select another name on the left and the pop-up will update with the selected individual. Again, in this pop-up, any settings shown in the table can be updated. It is also possible to see the user's IP address, their desktop app version, and when the user was added and last seen. You may adjust which projects a user should have access to, and you may select which groups a user should manage or be a member of. The screencast column is next. In this column, you can select how often screenshots are taken for your employee. You can also select a video option. These will be broken into three minute segments for viewing later. Then you have three toggle columns. The first is for blurring screenshots. The second is whether this person can edit their time or edit the time of those they manage. This column does not apply to silent users. The last toggle is permission for deleting screenshots. This allows a user to delete screenshots and videos taken from their screen. Doing so will also delete the work time associated with that screenshot or video. The next column, Timeout After, determines how tracking is recorded when a user is no longer active. When no keyboard or mouse is active for an allotted time, Time Doctor will stop tracking a user's computer activity. 
If you turn this off, then the program will never stop tracking. The level column indicates what position and access a user has. There are four levels of access, three that you can set and the owner access, which is only given to the owner of the account. There is admin, manager, and regular user, with admin having the most access and regular user the least. The time zone column allows you to specify which time zone the user lives or works in. On the next column, you can select which users appear on reports. Keep in mind, you can use the user groups to group users for reports, which was covered in our user groups video. The final column has different actions you can take for each user. You can edit users, which opens up the pop-up window. You can also delete a user or resend an invitation. If you delete a user, they will be sent to the deleted user page. You'll get a notification that the deleted user will be permanently removed after 30 days, and you will not be able to restore them after that time. If you wish to restore the user, go to the deleted user section, find your user, and click restore. This will immediately restore them to an active user status, and they will be visible on the active user page. As a final note, Anytime you make a change on this page, Time Doctor will auto save the changes made. There is no need to hit any further buttons. And that concludes the overview of the users page. If you'd like more information, please visit our Time Doctor support page.